Hello there, the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to part two of this Excel basics course. This is not the absolute basics. If you want to learn the absolute basics, go to freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Go to the Excel training under free stuff here. Go to online Excel course, absolute basics, three part series. This is the basics continued. Once again, a three part series, and this is part two. If you join us here, then please go back and watch from part one. In the previous video, I created this very, very basic table by putting a title in. We added some borders, added customers, added the months. We got a total sales per customer at the end here and total sales down the bottom. And as mentioned in the previous video, I've added some information here in the table. These are the sales figures for each customer. There's a few things I want to show you how to do in this video in part two. The first is to sort this information alphabetically. So you can see we have a range of customers here. They're not in any sort of order. It's quite random. I just made the, the customers up and put them on here. Some of them are actual real companies and some of them are not. If we want to show this information in alphabetical order, what do we do? It's pretty straightforward. All you do is highlight the information that you want to be in alphabetical order. You go to sort and filter at the top here. So sort A to Z, click on sort, and it will sort that information for you. You can now see we got A's, B's, C, E, G, P, S, T, W, and Y. So this information is now alphabetical. These customers here have been put in alphabetical order. But there is a problem here, and that is the information here has not changed. So if customer A was down here originally, this is the sales information I entered for customer A, but now it's showing that this is the sales information, which is obviously wrong. The data hasn't changed, just the suppliers or the customers, sorry, here. So what do I need to do? Well, let's undo that first of all by clicking undo. If you ever make a mistake, you can just click undo and it will revert back. You can see once again, they are in the original order. They're not in alphabetical order. So what do we need to do? We simply highlight the customers and also highlight the data. So highlight it all like so, and then go to sort and filter at the top here. Click sort A to Z. You can also do Z to A. Let's do sort A to Z. And you'll see that the customers as well as the data will move. So if we look at customer A, you know, if you look at their sales across here, just look at those figures. When I move this, that will stay with customer A and the same with good customer, bad customer, silver limited and so forth. So sort A to Z. And there we go. The customers have been put in alphabetic order and the corresponding sales data for that customer has also moved with the customer. Now I understand that I'm going pretty quick here and you might be brand new to Excel. So I suggest that you rewatch the video, you can pause the video, you can follow along on your Excel. Now all these suggestions will help you learn more and will benefit you more rather than just watching the video and listening to me go on. So please, you know, pause the video, rewatch again, practice on your own software. Those things will help you learn Excel much better. So that's sorting. Now you could have um, a list of suppliers. You could have a list of anything, list of locations, whatever it is. If you want to put them in alphabetical order, which is handy if you're creating a table like this, just highlight the information and click the sort and filter. What I would suggest is that you highlight the customers first and then highlight any other data. If I was to do this, say highlight this data, then go across, it might confuse Excel. Always start with the data you want in alphabetical order first, and then highlight the remaining data. So that's the first thing. The other thing I wanted to mention in this video is adding comments. So we have lots of data here, lots of sales, and it could be that some of these sales figures we want to really highlight and point out. So obviously you can color the cells in that you want highlighting, you know, have them stand out 
or perhaps you could make certain cells bold if you wanted certain figures to stand out or you could italicize them underline them whatever it is let's just undo all of that by using my undo button here so you can highlight these cells that way but another thing you can do that's better than highlighting cells is to add a comment because it doesn't just highlight the cell but it provides information about the data in that cell so let's just say for whatever reason that this number's really low and we wanted to make some sort of comment about ABC supplies and the sales in June. So all we do is highlight the comment, um, highlight the uh, cell, right click, so I'm highlighting the cell, right clicking on the cell and you have insert comment here. So I click on insert comment, I can put something like um, customer on holiday and then click away and you'll see that a little red triangle appears on the cell to highlight the cell and if I hover over that triangle it comes up with my note customer on holiday so if you've got a, a fancy table like this and you need to make lots of notes just to remind you of why cells dipped or peaked at certain areas or whatever the information is or perhaps you're creating this for a manager or a boss and you want to highlight and make comments on particular numbers rather than write a, you know, an email that would detail the notes. If you want to do those things, then a comment is best. So let's just do another one. We can right click, so highlight the cell, right click on the cell, click insert comment, and we can put whatever um, Jeff was happy or whatever the information is. And when we hover over that cell, it will come up with the, the comment there. And also the cell is highlighted because there's a little red triangle in the top right hand corner of each cell. So that's two things covered in this video, sorting data and adding comments. The third thing I want to show you, and then we'll finish with this video, is freezing panes. So you can see I've got some great customers here, lots of great data great headings and totals. If I scroll to the right though, and I'm looking at this data, how do I know which customer this data relates to? Well, Excel has this great feature where you can freeze the panes. And that means if we scroll, whatever panes are frozen, whatever cells are frozen will actually come along with us. And the best way to demonstrate this is to actually show you. So all we need to do is go to view at the top ribbon here, view, and then there's freeze panes, click on freeze panes. We have the option to freeze a selection of panes that we've highlighted. So we highlighted this column, we could freeze that. We can freeze the top row and we can freeze the first column. So let's freeze that first column. I'll click on that. This column is now frozen. So if I go to the right, you'll see that information actually comes with us. So if I'm looking at December 19, I can actually see which customer the value relates to. If that wasn't frozen, you know, if we unfreeze this by clicking on this again, unfreeze panes and go to the right, we can't actually see without scrolling back. So it's great to, to freeze. Let's just go back and freeze that first column again that information comes with us okay that's it for this video thank you so much for watching in the next video i'll show you how to add a graph the basics of adding graphs on microsoft excel